Carl Aikman still on the attack. Bobby Charlton. Charlton. Charlton trying one. Oh, sorry, he was nearly there. Bobby Charlton scored 49 goals for England. He's never scored one against West Germany. It'll be a great thing for him if he can make the 50. Way over the far side is Keith Newton, and it's a good ball for him. Newton should take his pass over us now. Run at him. The ball for Murray! Germany once here's Franny Lee giving a great try. And back down. That must be a penalty. Well, good gracious me. That looks very much as though Schnellinger hit him with a sharp right cross. And the foul given in Zeller's favor. And again, Germany throwing people forward. A free kick situation which England are looking at a bit. Quickly, here's Law. High over the bar. And that was long before. The England defence was ready in their lineup. Johannes Law, number 17. The full meter of the boot behind that. And a ball for her. Newton is overlapping like blazes down the right side. Being chased all the way back there by Law. Good cross ball. And the far side is hurt. And to the left. Step up. Marty Peters, sorry, Marty Peters, call it wrong. Marty Peters. Marty Peters makes it 2 0. There's the man who made the goal, Keith Hilton. First and Peters going in together on the far post, and it was Peters who gets the touch, puts it past. Step by, here it is again, the running, the cross ball. Now on the far post, Peters going in hard and fast, into the back of the net. Martin Peters, 2 nothing England. Now that is the sort of thing that really should smash these Germans right back on their heels. Oh, and Moore stopped that one in the stomach and it hurt. Over on. Second bar. Second bar. Moore still down injured. Second bar. In the net. Second bar to score. So that cuts it back a bit. That's the sort of electrifying burst. Sort of electrifying burst that second bar can unleash. I don't quite know why we're showing the picture of Fuller because he was second bar to score, regardless of what you may have seen then. Second bar. Here it is again in replay motion. Second bar in and the shot. The Benetti across him. But it was noticeable that at that moment of time, Bobby Moore was laid out halfway up the field. Or picking up Colin Bell, who has all the space in the world to go forward now. Now he really must run at them. He's faced by Schnellinger. Past Schnellinger. The shot now. And he was nearly there on the near post. Great try by Colin Bell on as the substitute. And that required a Brian Lebeau deflection and own goal to improve a very weak shot from Beckham. Now number 19, Colin Bell. Bell, the chip on the near post. Hurt. He must be there. Missed it by about three inches. What a beautiful chip and a beautiful try. Superb effort. Here it is again. That ball just creeps past the far post. And Lee chasing it, hoping it might come back off the post. Now you're out of law. They've got a man offside. Folks is up the field. Now he's racing back. Newton is going with Fuller. Fuller is in the shot here. And just down the front. What a save by Peter Benetti. And what an incredible let off for England. Nope. Grabowski, the long chip, and Lebone is up and Moore is up. Oh, that's about two. Fuller, Benton, Law now for Germany. Great appeal by handball, it won't be given. Schnelling at number three. There's Saylor. Saylor has done it. All the Saylor is equalized. And the crowd goes back. We've got nine minutes of this game left. Ulvi Zeller has equalized for Germany. The entire stadium is up. Germans, Mexicans alike. 
right off of the Superman, Uwe Taylor, five foot seven and a half. Once again, using his head to do it. This is how he did it. Here's the replay. There's Taylor. He's back to go. And Taylor in now the flick. But as he often approaches, the ball sails away, crosses the face of his goal into the right side. And the crowd really roaring for them now. Over out number 12. Second down, coming at number 4. And there's second down again. Here's second down. Only just wide of the post. Front, second down. We did a box to Corey Taylor. Over out now then with the big kick. Oh, no, good luck. And it was, it was Law, number 17, who got his head to it. Jing losing it. And all of the very votes. And Cooper in with a tackle. A great tackle, too. Cooper. Not a bad one. My golly, that ball was moving. That could so easily have Terry Cooper. That could so easily have squirmed under. To Francis Lee. And the referee has a look at his watch. As Mullery pushes England forward again, but it's too late. There's the 90 minute signal. 90 minute signal as tired players now move across. But they wore in the World Cup final of 1966. And if history is to repeat itself, England are due for two goals. It's got it now. There it is. Well, that was a shot. Kulimovsky and Overhouse on the edge of the box. There's Baylor climbing, and Hunter got higher. Second bar. That's not a bad shot. Not a bad shot at all, as Benetti did start well to get that over the bar. What a play at his second bar. Which is Bell. Or a hard low one, which got Stilliger in trouble. Still Bell again. Again the low one. The bounce! was the one shot perhaps that should not have fallen to there's the signal from the German bench here's Grabowski again the crowd beginning to rise to the West Germans Grabowski trying to tantalize Cooper the good cross ball Lohr on the far post and there's Muller Muller has done it Jordi Muller gives that man just a fraction of a chance and Jordi Muller does it who got it across and Muller with 11 and a half minutes of extra time to play gives West Germany a 3-1 scoreline so Gertie Muller still keeps alive his hope of going right through to the final and scoring in every round here it is again here's Johannes Moore now look at Muller making a lot of space for himself as Benetti comes no problem at all. There it is, the replay, which must happen people in England. Here's Hurst. Hurst with the ball. 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 The referee wouldn't get any of it. Then he's smashing down on Germany now, throwing everything at them. Here goes Alan Mullery. The chance to try a shot. He opens up, and he's just over the bar. Oh, it didn't get a touch. Alan Mullery so fractionally short of getting his second international goal there when he batted most. And now Mr. Setmeyer has decided that the excitement is too much for him. They just dare try and come out in case England hits back at them. Here's Hunter with the cross ball. There goes Hurst. Now Ball. Alan Ball. Ball to his left foot. Well, that was a chance. These chances are beginning to come now, though. Newton. Hurst going in. Ball. Trying to set himself up. Here goes Newton. Trying one. It's a great one. My God, that was a great shot by Newton. What a moment that would have been. The fellow that set up the two goals for England. Very nearly clinching an equalized life. Germany are winning the match 3 2. And there is the final whistle. It's all over. Watch the city referees. Referees. Calls an end to it. And England 
the world champions are out of the 1970 World Cup.